We are just about to start. Uh, more people are going to be filing in though, so make sure that we are leaving every seat available joke. for them as they come in. Uh, we do want every seat filled as possible so we don't get fire marshals mad at us. So, other than that, we will begin in about 30 seconds or so. Looks good. We still probably will have people pick my hands up, but I hope everyone is enjoying the pictures. There are some more seats down over on this side of the room. If you're just coming in now, we have quite a few seats over here. Feel free to file in down this side. Oh. Well, it looks like we're about ready to start, and without further ado, Kyle. Hey, X Games is the one that had the collision on the big hot wheels. Thing. Still here. Normally, I'm called away in an ambulance, right? Except for a few people to raise. I forgot to, you know, hydrate and have pocky and all that fun stuff. Someone had to get yesterday. What? Yeah. That's not cool. That'll teach you to put on the same weekend as everyone. Did I really just say I'm not that cold? Huh? Yeah. I'm full of love. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So anyway, what? I said, I said liar. Liar? No, you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So hi, uh, people who don't know who I am, who doesn't know who the hell I am? <laughs> Uh, my name's Kyle. I have voices in my head. Hey, hey. Hi, Kyle! Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm sort of addicted to cons. Friends! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say crap is cheaper. Is it? Is it true? It's still? Or can I put torn crap? I call them. Bad, bad. All right, awesome sauce. I have no agenda whatsoever. I have nothing, nothing, no, nothing planned. But you know, so I do voice acting for a living for anime and video games and you stuff. And what? <laughs> you thought I'd be in porno? What? The most expensive shirt I bought. This is $125. Thank you, Joe Sinhead. Thank you, Take my love, take my land, go. How many people have Verizon? Because I got like four bars in here. Yeah. I couldn't say, see, this is called Kyle TV. And the irony is, I'm not streaming this right now. I wanted to, but I couldn't log into Ustream or Justin TV, and the Stickam app is crap. We all know that. Yeah. Well, alas, here we are. So you guys can stream if you want. You guys can videotape it and take pictures. So I have to I have to give you guys a warning. I can't stay afterwards and sign autographs and take pictures because I have to go post masquerade. That's actually not the reaction I thought I'd get. I thought you were gonna go, screw masquerade, stay here! $75 to come to this damn panel. <laughs> no, that's not true. 
true. I wouldn't expect that. But yeah, so Kyle TV, just so you guys know, I'll catch everyone up to speed, is a live stream where I sit at home, because I'm a bachelor, I have no life, I have no girlfriend. I like to socialize with my friends and my fans and all that stuff. I'm probably the only voice actor that does this on a regular basis. In fact, I don't know of any other voice actor that has a live stream. Do you guys? A Todd Harbour Court does? No. Um, but he has a paid membership thing, but my mind is free. So, Kyle TV on Stickam. It's a live feed on Stickam.com. I turn on my webcam, and I you're still shouting out stuff. What did you say? Forward slash Kyle TV. Oh, yes, thank you. Now I recognize you. I just saw a little light. Like, it's Corey for my... Sorry. We're gonna go down there. We have a bunch of people from my chat room in here. We're going to let them introduce themselves. Oh, crap. I lie to have a little of agenda that maybe you guys will have so much fun here tonight that you'll decide to sign up and watch the live stream. Not sign up, but I mean, you know what I mean. You go through Twitter or Facebook if you're already a member of that, and you can log into the chat. You don't have to sign up on Stickam. But, and just another warning about my Stickam chat. It's usually late at night. Get it up dirty. Get it up. We keep our clothes on for the most part. Yeah, yeah right. I do. <laughs> yeah, it's usually usually just braided R or net X, triple X. For language, for language. Um, so little ones, I don't know if there's any kids in here or people under 18, but uh, yeah, you probably should not come in here. Uh, in the chat room, unless it's in the middle of the day, sometimes I stream in the middle of the day, but I typically do it after 11 p.m. Pacific time on weeknights, and uh, I'll stream for like three or four hours, and we talk about geek stuff. Sometimes the chat room will take us in places that I have no control or anything, and then people are like, whistling, like, I hope, I'm out. And then they're like, Doctor Who, it's like, believe it or not, I'm not a Whovian, I'm sorry. I'm a brown coach. Yeah. BSG, The Walking Dead. Yeah. What? Mythbusters. But but monsters? Mythbusters. Oh, okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Look like one of the dudes. People said, "Are you Kyle A. Bear? Or are you cosplaying him?" <laughs> And yeah, I'm cosplaying as myself. Awesome. <laughs> oh, such lovely faces in here tonight. I see God. I see a uh, Vegeta, right? Yeah. Vegeta. Kid Vegeta. Hey. Yeah. See, that's an example of someone who probably shouldn't come to my stream. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. I'm sorry. Man. I caught my own joke there. <laughs> like, come on, there's an opportunity. Just slip in there and... That's a cheap! Oh my god! Okay, so yeah, usually, you know, I'll get people coming on the stream and they say, Hey, do the voice! Dance, monkey, dance! And I'll do the voice and all that. And then things get really, really perverted. I'll start reading Craigslist ads. Has anyone been to this? Yes! Yeah. And when I first read it, I said, there are some sick people in there. Then after I read it, I said, there's some sick people in there. No, but I, start, I started thinking that people are just making this stuff up. I can't give an example because it's not an 18 plus panel. But things about people performing things on other people during tornadoes. Your mind can fill in the gaps. <laughs> Theoretically. <laughs> and if you're under 16, like, what's he talking about? I'm wrong. Shut up, nothing, nothing. <laughs> He's the voice of Dragon Ball Z. It's all good. <laughs> you never the voice of actors are dirty people, by the way. Just so you know. The dirtiest outtakes that we do in the booth, Steve Bloom, Crispin Freeman. <laughs> I wish 
wish I could have just hijacked Steve and brought him in here and said, give us all your outtakes, because they're funny and wrong. <laughs> Me, I just start babbling. I just like, blah, 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 and burst into song. Because life's a musical. <laughs> oh, oh my God, it's crazy. Hey. Hey. Just a small town girl <laughs> in a lonely world. That's my phone sex voice. Man. No, that's not it. Born and in South Detroit. I used to have a chat member come in and go, There's no such thing as South Detroit. That's Canada. <laughs> like, but South is, the, Canada's North. It's like, you make no sense. Go away. Hush. Just let the big people talk. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> All right, so we got a summer of movies here. Movies. Who likes movies? Yeah. What? Did you, Dark Knight Rises? Yes, the Batman. Yeah. I like how Christian Bale is not doing the. <laughs> and, it's just and Bane started like Virgil or Petrol, and now he's way too loud. <laughs> he's not Charlie Brown's teacher anymore. That's that's encouraging. But now it looked like it was the battle of the incomprehensible <laughs> super people. <laughs> the Bane, I am Gotham Superman. Gotham's what? Gotham Superman. Gotham's Riverman? Wait a minute, Tom Hardy, he's not like, isn't Bane like South American or something? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, let, let, let's just trade races and all that, because that works so well for Avatar. <laughs> See, now you guys know, don't spend your money because you're curious. You know it's going to suck, just stay away so Hollywood won't go, we made eight million dollars, we have to make a sequel now. <laughs> because technically, right? they're probably going to make a sequel to Avatar that nobody wants. The one that went to a bat. They already released a sequel. Oh, bastards. What? Who was let down by Prometheus? Who liked Prometheus? Okay, people who liked Prometheus. What the hell happened in that movie? There's squids and tentacles and it became kind of hentai-ish. It's the original tentacle rape. I'm stealing someone's joke. My friend Mark goes, I think James Cameron should make the sequel and call it Prometheus. <laughs> and then maybe James Cameron can explain what's going on after he's done making blue kitty movies in 3D. <laughs> like talking kitty movies with Pocahontas and... <laughs> Oh my god. Now Prometheus, I, I had such high hopes because Ridley Scott uh, kind of peaked early, in my opinion. You know, Alien, awesome. Blade Runner, awesome. Legend, pretty. <laughs> and then Black Hawk Down and mm, Gladiator. Okay, it's pretty. Ridley Scott came from commercials. He made very pretty looking movies. And Prometheus is very pretty looking. But what the hell? What does it all mean? Watch it when you're drunk. See, watch it when you're drunk? Yeah. Everything makes sense then. Not just Kevin Smith's stoner comedies. I mean, everything. I love Kevin Smith. Who likes Kevin Smith? I'm going to be a whore right now. I'm the voice of Smodcast.com. So I write all those X-rated promos that you hear. Smodco Internet Radio. It's time to babble the F on. You know, I do that now. I love this stuff. And, you know, I got to meet Kevin Smith. Uh, he lives in a very, very big house. At least three stories. It has an elevator. <laughs> he needs one. Oh, he needs one. Uh, 
self-deprecating humor. I don't know. But I mean, I, I went to his house on the day that we launched Smotco Internet Radio. It's like, and I, I do all the promo writing from home. I record it sometimes on the road. I also, he has a show on Hulu now called Spoilers. Um, and I do the intro for that as well. Um, it's like, tonight's special guest, tonight's episode, da, da, da. and I record that on my iPhone, actually, with a little plug-in microphone from the hotel rooms. And I make a pillow for it. Why would you spend five billion dollars on a soundproof booth when you could just make a pillow for it? Throw the comforter over your head, and then you have the perfect recording thing. Now, unless there's people making like, ah, ah, next door in the thin walls, you know? Or you're hearing X Games fatalities going on. <laughs> too soon, too soon. <laughs> oh, collision, so sorry. Yeah, so, um, I am able to record a lot of this stuff. You have a question, sir? Am I still not pooping? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I poop. <laughs> Everybody poop. Everybody poop today? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's just messy really quick. Know that if you guys have to get up and go to the bathroom, then oh, oh. How many instances of fanboy funk have you encountered this weekend? Uh, well, okay, today. Today. How many? Over 9,000! I was waiting for that. What? 9,000? Over my dog. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, so I see a lot of cosplayers here. You guys know, because you guys are cool because you're here. But I mean, you guys are cool because you understand that showering is a great concept. Yeah! And especially showering your nethers. Showering your nethers. The things that we don't see, hopefully. <laughs> Soap is your friend! Even that can start reeking too. <laughs> we really don't want to... Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> it's for dinner. Fish! Cuttlefish and asparagus. I love Cheetos. I love that fat Cheetos. Those are fat jokes. Not really jokes. Just like, I love Cheetos, man. Oh, what's better, the regular Cheetos or the fat Cheetos? Like the cheesy pigs. Cheesy pigs. I love the cheesy pigs. And they turn your hands with all the gunk, and then no matter what you do to prevent it, your fingertips will be yellow. <laughs> That's what I meant. Purple! Oh, you're colorblind. Unless, it's not red unless you're having the flaming hot ones. You, you got balls. Flaming hot Cheetos, really? That makes your hands look nasty. Like you have been dipping your fingers in things that they don't need to be dipping in. Oh my God. Well, it's time to go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes? Mr. <laughs> Don't fall for it. <laughs> oh gosh, go on, you. Oh, uh, you don't really have a question? I thought we were going somewhere. Five minutes, okay. Do you have a question? Avengers, Dark Avengers has already made a gazillion trillion Googleplex dollars, right? And 
deservedly so. Yeah.